Hello everybody and welcome to what I like to call muscle car mania. Muscle car mania. Now normally I mostly collect red line Hot Wheels, but I do love some of the new muscle cars and last week I was out running around the town looking at all the new Hot Wheels and I put together a nice video and I had a good time looking for stuff and now I want to open up everything I bought in the last three weeks. I bought a lot of stuff that I really don't need, but I sure like some of it. So let's take a look at it together. Let's share the joy. And maybe this will get you out there looking at some new Hot Wheels. ToyCarCollector.com. That's me, David Williamson. I am now in my 25th year of monthly catalogs. It's almost too many to believe. It's incredible. I've been doing this forever. I love toys. You can call or text me at 503-956-3708. 503-956-3708. Call now. ToyCarCollector.com at gmail.com. Toy Car Collector, yes, Toy Car. Don't forget the car in the Toy Car Collector at gmail.com. What you see here today may or may not be for sale on my website. Everything I do add starts out featured on the What's New page, toycarcollector.com slash new underscore cars dot htm. So let's get started with Muscle Car Mania for December 7th, 2015. I don't know where I want to start really, but let's start with this big old pack of Hot Wheels. Now, I saw this one yesterday, actually, and it's got this right up in here. This is the exclusive decoration car, and in this case, it's a Nissan pickup, or actually a Datsun pickup, because it's back in the day when they were called Datsuns. Let me reach my hot tea over here, because, man, I've been battling a cold like crazy. Mmm. All right, let's... I've already pre-opened the package, so we wouldn't have a bunch of trouble here, but let's get this out and take a look. I was really looking forward to this one. This one looks good. This is a beautiful car. Oh, let's get this light up here. Oh, that's good. Isn't that nice? Five spoke wheels. I love those. Black interior. Nice tampo on top. Look at that bed. Got the plastic bed in there. That is nice. Chrome base, chrome bumper, Datsun on the back. This really is a pretty one. They've made some other colors of this truck, which I have probably over here sitting next to my desk even. But uh, let me just take a look here. I got about four or five trays of cars sitting next to the desk. And I had some now. I do not have other of these, but they've been yellow and green. I know for sure. Probably other colors I'm not aware of. Put these trays back. But this is a beaut. Let's see what else is I like in here. I thought this looked pretty good. It's a Camaro. Kind of crazy. A lot of flames and stuff. It's a new Camaro. It's good looking. I think the, for 2016, they're actually changing the Camaro. I saw one the other day, and I think it looked really good. So this one's kind of neat. Put that back in there. What's this? I don't know. You know, you can't even tell what some of these things are. This is the Fast Fish. I don't believe I've seen this in a store yet. And uh, this particular one, that's the sad thing about these kind of fancy cars, is it's really hard to get ones that the tampos aren't all scoofed up. This one's got a little white paint on here that's left over from that getting screwed up. But, uh, yeah, that's no big shakes there. Let's see what else we got in here. This one, what is this, Maybach or something? Bentley Continental Supersport. Real plain. That's a plain Jane. Kind of weird. It's got the gray si or a silver plastic interior. I think I've seen it in red in the store, which looks pretty good. This white is pretty boring. And what's this here over here? Oh, this one's kind of neat. The kids really dig this stuff, like the Superbolt. Pretty neat. We'll put that back in there. Here's the other car I wanted in this lot, but I'm afraid that the uh, window is messed up in this car. Look at that. That is messed up. Now, I do like the Riviera, and I got four or five other Rivieras, so I was hoping to get a nice Burgundy Riviera, but this is all screwed up. I may have to check this set back and exchange it. You think I could get that window back in there? Well, maybe I'll try that later, but it is a mess. So we'll put that back in there for now. And there's a Porsche. I think I bought one of these the other day. That's a good looking car. This one's got a window scuffs. That's a good looking car. Porsche. For the Porsche collector. And there's a good Corvette in here. Look at that. That's pretty neat. You know, this car looks really good out of the package. It's actually a pretty good looking car. If you like a Corvette, red wheels, pretty nice. Now let's see what else is in here. Oh, and this. Shark Cruiser. 
I thought they discontinued this one years ago, but there it is again. Shark Cruiser bringing her back. All right, we'll put this set back together. And toss it away. We got another five. Um, what are these? Nine packs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's another nine pack that I thought was kind of attractive. It's got the. Um, it's got the special Ford Fairlane. Not real crazy about this one, but it's nice. There are some other really good looking Ford Fairlanes in the past. Make, I'll show those on another video, but I definitely put that with it. I was really more interested in this Corvette right here. This looks pretty good. Got a little overspray on there. That's the problem with these nine packs. They can really have messed up uh, things. That, that's a, pla I think, yeah, that's a plastic body on that. Metal base, plastic body. That's a good looking Corvette. Keep that one out of there. There's another Corvette in there. It's good looking. It's got that new green color. Nice numbers on the side. Nice and clear. Decent wheels. I'd rather have a five spoker on there, but I could live with that, I guess. Good looking Corvette. Put that in the collection right there. Let's see what else we got. This one looks kind of neat. What is it? It's a Stingray Concept. Huh. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And here, that's kind of groovy. It's got a purple, big old purple window on it. No name on Oh, La Fasta. La Fasta. That's pretty neat. Kind of looks like an old car. And what do we got here? Another big window. Pony up. Pony up. Looks like a Dodge Viper, really. Sort of a meld between a Dodge Viper and a Mustang. All right, let's get back in there. Let's see what we got here. Chrysler Concept, Firepower Concept. That looks pretty neat. A little more detail on that car would go a long ways. And then I think this one spun the boat with the uh, wave. What is that though? Oh, I guess this is the wave up here, the actual boat up there. And then this is just the waves below. Very creative, very creative. And here we have the Infiniti G37. Good looking for a stock car. Five spokes would make that one look good. All right, well that's all that's in that one. Now I got a couple, let's see, whoa. I did buy a five pack the other day. Let's throw that out here. But should I open this? I saw this five pack and I thought, you know, that car looks really cool right there. You know, that's the way you do. You look at the Hot Wheels and you're like, oh, that looks good. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take these cars out and put them in that, that other pack. I'm pretty lucky in that I, I can buy these stupid five packs and nine packs and take a car out and then I'll just take it and put it for sale in my antique mall space and eventually somebody who's walking around the mall will buy it. I don't have to worry about having a bunch of extra cars laying around. I really like this one for some reason. It's got scratches all over it. For some reason I just think this one is cool. I don't know why. Yeah, let's see. Maybe it's not that cool. These are all plastic on top. That's kind of weird. It does have a metal bottom, though, to make it roll, I guess. Pretty neat. This one is the hollow back. Hollow back. And this one, let's see. Oh, this, one's, this one's actually pretty cool. It is a flathead fury. I like that one. I like the chrome on there. That looks good. My grandson will love that one. It raced, probably race that one. This one feels like it'd be a good racer right here. Circle track. That's yeah, a good looking car. Portions are a little, pretty good. It's kind of like a NASCAR. Not quite. That's a decent looking car. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like this one. This is one of my favorites. I do like this one. What's it called? The Maelstrom. Yeah, they've been making this one for a while. You know, it's amazing. You could, I think they make most of these cars in like, you know, 50 different variations eventually. Which would be crazy. Can you imagine having them all? I think this was a treasure hunt at one time, too. I do like that one. That's pretty neat. And this one's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll just put it back in there. I don't need any of those. I do not need any of those. What I prefer is, I really prefer stuff like this. I like this. I like the truck. I like the Corvettes. I like the race cars. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I like that one. 
I like this little guy right here, Pearl Driver, Pedal Driver. And uh, in the new color, the light blue. That's a pretty sweet one. And I like that. I guess that's, yeah, pretty sweet. Let's see if this is the same color. This one is called the Custom 62 Chevy. I really like this one. What I like about this one is when you pick it up, you realize, wow, this thing is heavy. That's got a big old metal body. And just imagine what that'd feel like with a metal base. That would be super cool. But this one's nice. Now, this one's going to be hard to collect because you got to find one with a nice tampo on it, nice and clear. And that one, uh, I think it's going to suit the bill. Got a small collection of trucks. Let's see, is this the same color? Let's take it out. No, this is more of a blue. This is more of a turquoise or aqua. See, there's a lot of difference there. Good looking pieces. This is some good looking pieces right here. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, you know, did you get this? The Diamonds Are Forever Mustang. 71 Mach 1. And this was actually a uh, regular 99 cent car, too. And in fact, the day I got this, I had a coupon for $2 off toys of any value over two dollars so i got it for free sort of all right here is the mach one this is a beauty a little on the narrow side to suit my taste but um got a nice profile side view look at that that is a good looking car i could definitely put that in the collection of mach ones here goes the camera hey all right, let's see what else is in this box. I really like this Ranchero. You like this Ranchero? 65. Ford Ranchero. I've seen it in yellow. Seen it? Didn't I see that in brown? I don't know. Can't keep track. Get some of those other ones out maybe at the end of this video. That's a good looking piece. That's a good looking piece. What am I ever going to do with all these? So I kind of like, you know, I'm not a real big Mustang fan, but I do like the 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback. That's a good looking car. That is a good looking car. Look at that. You know, some five spokes on that. That's my broken record story right there. I'd like to put five spokes on everything, but they're not going to do that. That is a good looking car. You could do some stuff with that. You know, they could make that into some really neat variations. In fact, I think I might have. Oh, look at that. Here's another Ranchero in the yellow color yellow yellow and that would look good guess what with five spokes speaking of five spokes look at this Ta da we opened that one the other day see put those five spokes on here that'd look good it actually does look good though the way it is with the matching red with the red stripes i'm digging that i'm digging that put those two guys together that's a good looking model good looking model back to the corvette we do like the Corvette, the C6. What is that? C6 Corvette, I think. 09ZR1. 09ZR1. That's a good-looking model with those Gulf Tampos on there. That is a good-looking model. Is this the same one? Let's take a look. I think so. Uh, okay. C6 Corvette. Oh, that's where I got that. This one says C6 Corvette, and this one says 09ZR1. But... Oh, yep, they're different. Yep, look at that cowl piece there. It's different. Yep, a little bit of difference, not too much. But uh, good looking Corvettes. Good looking Corvettes. Got more stuff in the box. Another Mustang. This one's 68 Shelby. You don't see those. You know, a lot of times you just don't see a lot of the same car over and over. You see some. This is a good looking Mustang, huh? Look at that. That is a gorgeous Mustang. I love that. I love that. What is that, 69? 68 Shelby, huh? These things seem like they should be a lot closer in looks, but um, the dimensions are definitely off. This one is a larger dimension, I think, than this one. Yeah. A little bit. They both look nice, though. They really look nice. So I like the Mustangs. Yeah, let's see. We got a couple of these. Oh, we got the uh, Subaru Brad. I decided I needed to open one of those. All right. That's a good-looking piece right there. There's a red Toyota at the store right now, too, with some real good-looking wheels on it. It's a big, like a Baja. That's a good-looking model. That's a good-looking one. That's really a nice model. 
Let's put that right in there. Another Mustang. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the Superbird. Did I open the Superbird yet? No, not today. Typically, I don't like the Superbird because it doesn't fit in the carry case or the storage case. These things are just so big. Whoops. Look at that. She is a beauty, though. That color is nice. That is a good, good color. I'd like to see that color on some of these other models. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know if I've seen that particular color, that color, that new one. This one I think I've seen on two cars, but it's a nice looking color. What's that? I think I've got another one of those. Oh yeah, here we go. GTO. That's a nice GTO. That's a good looking GTO right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least they didn't put the chrome interior in there. I hate that one. That's a good looking GTO Judge. Actually, when I was, uh, my mom was shopping for a new car in 1968, the dealership had an orange Judge on the showroom floor. Wish I could go back and touch it again. Touch it, touch it! The GTO in orange, the grabber. Have you seen this? 68 Mercury Cougar. That's a good looking Cougar. You know, I recently sold all my Cougar new models. But um, this one looked good to me, so I picked her up. Now, look at the way those pipes stick off the bottom. And that's cool. That's real cool. Black interior. Good, good. Got a little mustache on the front. Hot Wheels number 36. That's a good looking piece. They could do some fun things with that. They could do some fun things with that. All right. What do we got here? Oh, the Aston Martin's come out in a great new color. Seen it in green for sure. Seen it in another color too. I can't remember what it was. Green, maybe. But this is like a silver baby blue, silver blue, kind of a matchboxy color. It's a good color. Uh oh. Is that just me or is there a warped bad window in there? Can you see it? Yeah, it's a bad window. Look at that. It's missing a little bit of window in there. That's too bad. Good looking car though. Get some more of those. I only saw one of those so far at the store. Let's see what do we got here. Ford Shelby GTR Concept. Yeah, I was digging this one. It, I had to look through about a dozen of these to find one that the front stripe was not all completely screwed up on. So I was kind of digging it. Yeah, let's open it. What the heck? Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. I may just stick this in one of those five packs or something, but... I wanted to open it, probably don't want to keep it or collect it, but it looks kind of neat. I like the color of that stripe. That's a good color. We'll put that someplace else eventually. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I picked up one of these Zs. Did you get that? Datsun 240Z, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. I do have a uh, box of what I call the sport cars in my collection. This would be definitely one of those guys. Got some beauties. That one's a beauty. Hard to get a tampo that's not all messed up on that. Let's see how we did. Looks good. Both sides look good. Top looks pretty good. Decent. Very decent. Very decent. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Now we got another one here that I liked the other day. SRT Viper. I don't really collect racing cars. This one looked pretty good, though. Something about that black and red looked good. A little short package. Maybe that's what it was. Let's open her up and see what she got. Oh, yeah. That's neat. Yeah, that's a neat looking car. It's very stylish. Of course, kind of realistic. A little more realistic than some of the cars that they come out with. But I like that one. That one's nice. Race cars. Let's see what else we got. You know, this was my favorite of this whole Real Rider series. This Porsche. Looks awesome. 917K. 17k let's pop her open oh look at that yeah i could throw away all these other cars this one's a beauty metal all over doesn't have any moving parts or anything that's attractive that's a beauty 17 on the side that is a good looking car i really dig that one i'd like that one that's a good one i really like that one let's back up here a little bit let's see thinking about opening this yeah what the heck i did like this one too of that particular series i bought two cars and two of them were 
my favorites. Backwoods bomb. Always love the backwoods bomb. Take that off. Oh, that's nice. I don't think the original one was like that. That's a good looking rig. Big rubber tires, all metal. A little more costly, $3. Good looking piece. So I got another Mustang. I got another one of these. Oh, you want to hear something really crazy? Look at this. I guess this is a treasure hunt. Now, treasure hunts have been around since 1995. That's 20 years. And this is the first treasure hunt I have ever seen in a store. And I've looked at a lot of Hot Wheels. Now, I'm not like some of these guys that goes every day. I just look at the Hot Wheels when I get to the store. So anytime we go to the store... We go to a big kind of super center -y type of store. It's called Fred Meyer. And uh, so, you know, I always check out the Hot Wheels. Every time I go to the store, I swing by the Hot Wheels, just like everybody. And I have never in my life before found a treasure hunt hanging on the shelf. So apparently nobody really gave a hoot about this particular one. And they just left her hanging there. You can see right down there, this symbol lets you know that the vehicle is hard to find and collectible. That's the treasure hunt symbol for this year. Is it this year? Is this a 16? Is that what this is? No, this yeah, actually says 213 on the back. And then it says, I don't know. I think this is like a fairly, it's like the brand latest model or something. But it's the first treasure hunt I've ever found in 20 years of looking. Because our treasure hunts all go out the back door in the Northwest. And that's just the way it is. You're not going to find a treasure hunt on the wall unless you are there at the exact time that those treasure hunts come out and so that's kind of cool although it's kind of lame but it's kind of cool at the same time so let's take a look and see what else we got around here right at the moment now this is one of my favorite corvettes from a few years back let's see is this the same as one of these ones i just got the c6 so that was this one the c6 let's take a look yeah i think that's the same model this is really one of the nicest looking Corvettes of all time right here. Treasure hunt, I believe. Of course, I only get my treasure hunts from, by buying them from somebody. I don't get them from the store. Like I say, I never found one before. And let's see what else we have while we're here. Take a look at... Oh, there's another, one of my favorites. They're not making this one right now, but this is really one of my favorites right here. Yeah, that T-Bird, that's a beauty. I just like, I dig anything with the really bright, shiny wheels. Yeah, that's really, that's really my favorite way to go. Man, sorry about that, folks. Whoa, I'm just banging into everything around here. Of course, I like the Mopars. Oh, looks like I already had one of those. That's two of those. What else is in here? Of course, did I show you these wagons? It's one of my favorites of all times. Right there, the wagon, especially this one here. The black and the brown. Gotta get these. Hope they make more of them. It's a good series. If it is a series, I just made that up. It is a good series. Oh, yeah, and the Trino and the pickup. Showed you this the other day. The pickup. Love the pickup. She's a beauty. Now, back to that. Uh, see what I'm talking about? That Fairlane. Here's a new one, white. Get back up here into the light. Move that tree out of the way. Here's a mess here. Get you straightened out here. All right. That's not bad, but look at this. Look at this. This is plastic base, metal body, black interior. Similar, it's a silver interior. But these five spokes, look how good those look. That looks like a real car there. Mm, this looks like a joke. Maybe a custom car show or something. But that's a beauty. Okay, focus right there. Come. See, there it is. There it is. That's beautiful. That's a beauty. And yeah, not quite as that's neat, but not like that. It is not like that. Speaking of not like that, there's another GTO. I think this is the earlier one, is it? Yeah. That's a good looking car. I hate the chrome interior, but if it had a black interior, you know, we could swap this out with black and that would look killer sweet. Killer sweet. Well, let's see what else we got in here to look at. I'm going to pause for just a second. Maybe grab something else. While we're talking about GTOs, let's take a look at these. This one's a few years old. Probably quite a few. Most of this really cool stuff that I found was right around 2007, 2008. But this is a good looking GTO right here. 
Same series as this orange one. This gray one. This one was hard to get. That was a really hard to get one. And look at this. Seen this? Yep, they really do make Hot Wheels this cool. GTO. GTO. And the one with the spoiler, they made that in a convertible version. Look at that. That's cool. I do like me some GTO. GTO. Hey, how about a yellow one? Look at that. Now, what do we got for... This is 70 GTO. Is that the 70 also? Yep. 70 GTO hardtop. 70 GTO convertible. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Put that back. I actually got three colors of the GTO convertible. Whoop. Look at this blue one. Ow! That's sweet. That is a sweet little ride. And there's an orange as well. Look at that. Orange, blue, and the dark red. I'm pretty happy once I get about three or something. I'm pretty happy with that. I really dig that. Three or something is good. Now, some I get six of, it's a little too many. Look at that, good stripe on that, huh? Yellow, red. Nice. Good looking cars. It's not. It's kind of rare that they make them this good looking now. It's been a few years ago they were making these. They were making these. How about a little Olds action for you? A little Oldsmobile. Huh? A little Oldsmobile. I what I wanted. Whoa! Down it goes. Down it goes. What I wanted to show you since I'm in this box with these G Pontiac GTOs, I also put my 442s in there. They've been making these 442s. They look real darn good. Quite a variety of them. Again, this has been a few years back. So if you want to find something like this, you'll have to go to like the toypeddler.com or todayssale.com or eBay or your local toy show, collectible store, stuff like that. Find this neat stuff that's a little older. GTO. I was kind of hoping to uh, that they would eventually come out with five spokes more than just this gold one. And then I could convert all these. That was my dream last year was to convert every car to five spokes. But now I've got too many cars and no time. I wanted to show you my storage boxes. These are those Plano storage boxes. They don't really sell them as toy boxes anymore because apparently they're dangerous. The plastic is poison or something like that. So they say, sell them only as sewing a notion box for putting thread bobbins in. And they're, they sell these at Walmart at walmart.com. You can order them into your local store. They're about 9 or 10 bucks a piece. And they look really nice. But let me show you something that really makes them look even better. Now, this middle was, is for like long cars. And what I do is I take these plastic storage boxes. And you can either leave the lid on. Or cut the lid off the top and then you can put the car in there. And then you can put another car in there and it keeps them from banging into each other. But let me show you something really cool. Okay, so take a look at this now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, Years ago, I realized that some of my little teeny tiny matchbox can't, couldn't really sit nicely in here because they'd fall through this little hole. So I made up some little cards. I cut some little cards to put them in, and then I realized, wow, you know, these cars look like way better once you put the white cards underneath them. So now I keep white cards under all my cars, and let's see, some of them, like if you want to write down the condition and stuff, here's what I did. I just uh, write uh, on the front of the card, you can write on the front of the card, like that, can you see that? Like what you got, here's a Corvette, Rose, Min Minus, blah, blah, blah. Keep your data on that card if you like. Or just keep it simple and plain over here like that. Looks really, really nice. I like these tr cases for that. And, and you can stack them and store them and everything's beautiful. You just keep them right in that. It's a great way to store. So that's Plano Molding is where they come from. Plano, P-L-A-N-O Molding. And you can pick these up at Walmart. I actually picked them up in my Fred Myers recently in the sewing department. Hey, here's something that's really cool. Did you guys collect all these? They were a bunch of Hot Wheels with the blue logo. They were doing them for quite a while. Then they started with the black. I only found three with the black. But let's see, how many models do I have? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11. Looks like I got 12 different ones with the blue. Now that Camaro, that 70 Camaro, that one was super sweet. But it's a much darker color than any of the others. Of course, my favorites are the Maverick. I really like the Maverick. They all pretty much have the, well, I guess they have a variety of wheels too. I'd like it a lot better if they were all the same, but I guess that would be like a series or a set then. I like that one. I like that Torino. What's that, Torino? That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, 70 Ford Torino. A very good looking car. And I like the Bone Shaker. Isn't that the Bone Shaker? Nice. Really like those. All right, take a look here. This is my Dodge Charger case. Got quite a few of them. It's one of my favorite cars, definitely. Especially like this white and blue one right here. Isn't that pretty? I think that was a regular Lion car. That's a nice one. All these are chargers. And then they made this charger with the motor sticking out. I guess a Hemi charger. Pretty groovy. Very neat, like this green one. That's pretty cool. It's so funny when you uh, collect these over the years, you're like, wow, you know, they they made some really cool ones. They, at times, they just make some really cool cars. Other times, they don't make much of anything. And it's amazing how few, how hard it is to find all these things. A lot of the stuff I had to get at like a Hot Wheels convention where the guys had everything and you could pick through it and get the good stuff. So there's the Charger collection. Really nice. So here's the other side of the Charger case. I got Dodge Challengers. Dodge Challengers in there. Those are nice. There's some really good ones. This light green with the five spokes. That's a beauty. I think that's a 2007 model. Probably one of the ones that got me into collecting new cars again. Because it's just so nice. It's the RT in purple. So that one they made in three colors with the five spokes. And then they got some other goofy wheels. This is a more recent one. I think that is nice with the goofy wheels. And then this car here is really hard. They haven't done a lot. I don't know. I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure whether to say they haven't done a lot with it or they're just really hard to find. I guess you'd really have to see a price guide or a list of the different models in order to know how many they've made of it. They've made some beauties, but not too many. This one's all metal. Came from some sort of a set. It's really gorgeous. That's a beautiful charger. And then this purple one. This purple one could be nice, but you know, the white is just too much and they it's hard to get it to be perfect. It's got all kinds of dings in it. <clears throat> that blue is pretty. Did I show you that one already? Okay, that one's pretty. Yeah, that white was just, that's really hard to pull off that whole white panel across the bottom. That wasn't even necessary. I know there's some guys out there that know how to take that paint off there, which is really cool. So there's the Challengers.